Okay, this is going to be a real quick one. I just want to talk about the book, The Mailman, okay? It's by Bentley Little. I literally just finished it today. And this book is amazing, okay? So this is what it looks like and whatnot. This book is absolutely amazing, okay? I feel like this book really should be made into like a black, you know, comedy, you know, one of those kind of things uh, because there are a lot of comedic, I don't know if it was meant for that, but there are a lot of comedic aspects to this where parts where I just started busting out loud laughing. So here's what it is. Essentially, you have this little town up in Phoenix and you have our main character, Doug. He is a teacher. This is during summer break. You have his wife, Trisha, and his son, Billy. Billy's around 10 years old, okay? Then you have other people in the town and whatnot. Like I said, it's a small town, so you get the vibe. So essentially, what's going on here is um, you have the mailman that was originally there. He ends up dying mysteriously, okay? Or, or so or so we thought okay so he ends up offing himself essentially is what happens so then we have a replacement which is our mailman character okay so he ends up coming and at first you get a whole bunch of you know different kinds of mail you get really good mail and it's like oh my goodness then you start getting like you know some sketchy mail such as oh did you know your wife is uh cheating on you with you know james from down the street etc 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 you know oh this person killed your dog or this person did this or this right so that's what's going on so this mailman <laughs> It's hilarious, yo, because he starts doing like the postal service motto and it's it's so freaking hilarious what's going on with this guy. Um, it's absolutely well written. Uh, you had a nice uh, comedy in there, I thought anyway, that's how I took it. I started laughing in some of these parts and I liked that the characters were rational, okay? Because I read The Consultant, I watched the show first, that was an Amazon show, and then uh, with his fine self, Christoph Waltz, okay? So after I finished watching that, I was like, okay, you know what, let me go get the book. So I read The Consultant and it was really good. I feel like the mailman was better uh, just because, I don't know, maybe because I actually worked at the post office. <laughs> so it like kind of connected with me a little bit more. Uh, but I actually thought it was very well written. I mean, you had some points where it's like, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Some unexpected stuff like, wait, what? This character? Oh my goodness, I didn't know that could happen, you know, or that even happened. And you find out like essentially the mailman, he's... You know, he, he's manipulating the mail, obviously. He's sending different things from different time periods, different errors, because um, this is sent in like, um, I guess you just say different time periods. This is sent in, this is set in about the 70s, 80s. I got like maybe late 70s, early 80s. Um, you see some twisted stuff. Like I said, it is a horror as well. So you get some twisted stuff, brutal, gruesome murders that are involved as well. But overall, I mean, I mean, it's an adult book. So don't be giving it to little Timmy thinking that he going to be reading this. It, so <laughs> it's some some stuff in there. OK, but it's really good. I thought the ending was really nice as well. Uh, you can see similarities in just the style from this book and the last book, The Consultant that I read. Um, I, I really like it. Um, I highly recommend it. And I feel like this could make a good adaptation for an actual movie my studio that i would say now you could say a24 um they will work um but i was kind of looking at blumhouse i think blumhouse would do this i mean they both could but i uh, know i'm kind of getting blumhouse but then again it's like the more i think about it, i look at x and i look at um pearl you know and i'm like maybe a24 could do this justice i don't know it's between those two really um because uh, blumhouse i believe is the one that did the orphan as well um but uh that's neither here or there with that but i really feel like this could make a really good kind of black comedy you know kind of movie black satire um it would it would look really good on screen obviously you may not be able to actually use a united states postal maybe you you say eagle uh, united states eagle service or something like that uses or something <laughs> i don't know um um but uh whatever you know whatever with that i feel like you could really like utilize that and i think that would be really 
freaking cool you know um i just was really digging just how it was written um just being able to visually i mean you're reading it but you could just like be immersed within the world you know with the way that they're described the way that bentley little is describing how the air feels how the the smell of everything, the look of everything, the visuals um, with everything. It's very detailed. It's very, very good. I highly recommend this. And I feel like they really could make this into, I mean, yo, I mean, in the consult, I mean, Christoph Waltz, <laughs> another used him, but man, maybe he needs to be in some of these because he would be perfect he was perfect as a uh, uh, Regis Patoff you know so I feel like he would be perfect as uh what's his name uh John um oh John it was some extra generic name um but I feel like he'll be really good as the mailman um it would be really nice to see how they would go about doing this because at some points yeah I mean with the gruesomeness you have to tone it down a bit um um, and even just some of this stuff at the end like it was, you got like a house of mail and stuff like that uh where you have to tone that down or take that part out for the visual movie but other than that i mean i was really digging this book i highly recommend you read the book first definitely and i mean come on y'all let's make this into a movie i really would love to see this on the big screen and don't be don't be giving us these no shade but some of these Stephen King books don't be giving us those uh, movie adaptations you know I mean Sleepwalker I enjoyed I like uh, Brian Krause but I mean okay <laughs> Maximum Overdrive okay give us like a it you know <laughs> give us something like that give us some of you know some of his better uh adaptations uh don't be giving us any trash <laughs> okay oh but even with the consultant um i seen that people had like not too good great views on that i don't know why i really enjoyed it because i mean it's it's a black satire i mean that's really what it is um so in total i really enjoyed it i feel like they need to make this into a movie and definitely check this book out they got it on amazon y'all i think i got mine i think i got mine at amazon it was either amazon or barnes and noble i think i got mine at amazon though so definitely give it a read it's absolutely amazing hey i'd greatly appreciate it if you could support me simply go to ebay.com in the search bar type in latrice limited Click on shops and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there, many of my own personal Latrice limited items, such as candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, all that, even lingerie robes as well. I even have men's ties on there, comic books, a whole bunch of stuff for everybody. Definitely do not forget to support me and also do not forget to like and subscribe.